Police in two Connecticut towns are trying to figure out if three recent smash and grab robberies are in some way connected. News 8's Kent Pierce on scene in Meriden where one of those crimes went down. Three different overnight smash and grab robberies all within about 90 minutes of each other and in each one the thief did the same thing. Smashed in glass in the front of the store and got in that way and at this store here in Meriden they caught the whole thing on video. Police say it was around 3.30 a.m. when someone busted through the glass at the bottom of the front door. The owner of this BP gas station on West Main Street in Meriden says the thief tried but failed to get at his cash and made off with several cartons of cigarettes instead. That sounds a lot like what happened at this Valero station in Southington about an hour and a half earlier. Uh, last night, uh, maybe 2 o'clock, 2 a.m., someone came and hit the glass and they took my, my registers. The manager here says there may have been some money left in the drawer of the lottery register, but he wasn't sure how much. It looks like the next stop for the thief was this quick stop on South Main Street, also in Southington. He smashed in the front window and grabbed the cash drawer of the lottery machine, as well as some cigarettes. The owner of this store says his cousin's package store right next door was hit just the same way very recently. It was two weeks ago, exactly the same thing happened to him too. Here at the quick stop, the thief also grabbed the surveillance camera, so there are no pictures for police here. Police do say thieves seem to be targeting stores that sell cigarettes, as a carton now goes for upwards of 80 bucks. These three stores are no more than 10 miles apart. The robberies happened between 2 and 3.30 a.m. Store owners say they'll just tally up their losses, clean up the glass, and keep going, and they say no, misery does not love company. This is not actually good news for anyone. I mean, not any, any owners <laughs> don't want it. There are certainly lots of similarities, but police so far are not saying for certain that all three of these robberies are connected. If you saw anything suspicious around any of these three stores overnight, please call the police. On the scene in Meriden, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.